Hello everyone, I'm Jyoti Venkatesh, an HPC Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. Welcome to a demonstration video on high-performance computing use cases for NiceDCV. NiceDCV is an Amazon Web Services-owned high-performance remote display protocol. With the power of DCV, you can seamlessly connect to your remote session running either in cloud or on-prem data center via internet from your local laptop. You can run demanding visualization or post-processing and smoothly interact with it as if you were sitting at the machine itself. There is no additional charge to use DCV on Amazon EC2. You pay only for the EC2 resources you use to run your workloads. DCV streams pixels and not data to ensure customers' data privacy. For more information on how DCV works and how to set up DCV, please visit the Nice DCV website. DCV is widely used by our customers for different use cases like high-performance computing workloads across many industry verticals like oil and gas, life sciences, manufacturing, and even media and entertainment. So now let's take a look at a couple example use cases for DCV. Here is an example of a life sciences use case. We have run molecular dynamic simulations of a membrane protein patch on an HPC cluster on AWS. The head node of this cluster is an NVIDIA T4 GPU-based EC2 instance. This head node also hosts the DCV remote desktop session, and we can see here that I have connected to this remote session from my local laptop on a browser via the internet. I'm using here a software called VMD to visualize the results and DCV is streaming this visualization from the head node which is on the cloud. One of the goals of the simulation was to induce an appropriate disorder of a fluid-like bilayer into this protein patch. What we see here right now on the screen is the protein patch at the beginning of the simulation. Once all the frames are loaded, towards the end we will notice that this protein patch is disordered. Let me load the frames. I'm interacting here with, with the model as the frames are being loaded and the interaction is smooth without any time lag. And now that all the frames are loaded, we can notice that this protein patch is disordered. Let me zoom into the model and we can see that the resolution is very good as well. The interaction is fluid and it is great that it doesn't feel like this visualization is running on a remote server and it is being streamed over the network. Let's take a look at an example use case for computational fluid dynamics. This is the visualization of a solution to the popular motorbike geometry that is a part of the OpenFORM tutorial suite and this is the 4 million cell test case. This test was run on an HPC cluster on AWS and post-processing files were created. A DCV remote desktop session has been hosted on the master node of this cluster, which is an NVIDIA T4 GPU-based EC2 instance. I have connected to this session from my local laptop. We are using a visualization software called Paraview for post-processing of the results. I have already loaded the post-processing files. Let us now interact with the model some more to explore and analyze the features. The lines we see here represent the streamwise velocity of the air flowing over the bike. For a better representation, let us change the coloring scheme. Now we can see here that the blue represents the slower flow and the red represents the faster flow. We can do a similar coloring scheme with the motorbike as well. Although we are streaming this visualization, it is very responsive and it gives us a real-time experience very similar to an experience if we were to run this visualization on our local laptops. Here is an example use case for the oil and gas industry. We see here a seismic full volume data of the Parihaka survey, which is located towards the northern part of Taranaki Basin on the west coast of New Zealand. We are rendering this seismic data using NVIDIA Index HTML5 based viewer that we have launched inside of a remote DCV session. 
NVIDIA index is commonly used in seismic interpretation systems for scalable real-time visualization and interactive exploration of seismic data. The visualization toolkit is running on an HPC cluster on AWS and the master node is also a GPU based instance which is uh, hosting the remote DCV session. DCV is streaming this visualization as we speak and I have connected to this remote session from my local laptop using a browser. Index provides the ability to dissect this 3D volume in the X, Y or Z direction to get a cross-sectional view. Further, we can zoom into this cross-section to get a better view of the layers. This will facilitate better analysis and also say, for example, to find any soft lines or fault lines. We are able to interact with this 3D volume seamlessly via DCV and without any latency. Now let's take a look at a video game streaming experience on Nice DCV. Here I have chosen the Unity in Heaven benchmark and this is running on a G4 instance which is an NVIDIA T4 GPU based DC2 instance. This also hosts a remote desktop DCV session and like in the demo for the other use cases, I have connected to this remote session from my local laptop via a browser. Now let me change the camera mode to be able to interact with the game. You can now see that I'm interacting with the game, the colors are vibrant, and the interactive experience is smooth without any time lag. With this, we are at the end of the demos for this video. Nice DCV has two licensing modes. It is free to use on Amazon EC2, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, and you only need to pay for the underlying instance time consumed. If you want to use DCV on premises or on another cloud, then you can buy licenses from one of our resellers. DCV uses a floating license model and runs a heartbeat check. Nice DCV is an AWS product and is fully covered under AWS support plans just like any other AWS service. If you use DCV on AWS, please reach out to AWS support with your DCV questions. If you use DCV on premises, please contact your distributor or reseller directly. Thank you for watching this video.